Hi, I'm David Gregg, and I'm standing in on Narrow River. I've been reading a lot about water quality studies taking place in the Narrow River, no, and I... The Narrow River. Not a Narrow River, the Narrow River. Sorry. Oh, this Narrow River. This is the Narrow River. The Narrow River is a tidal river it separates South Kingstown from Narragansett, Rhode Island. It's a basin about 10 miles from north to south and a, as little as a mile from east to west. And uh, the river is itself is as a little as 150 feet wide and just a few feet deep. It has a wide, shallow cove uh, at the southern end, Petaquamskit Cove, and at the northern end, it has two deep ponds, upper pond, which is about 45 feet deep, and lower pond, which is about 65 feet deep. In this video, we're looking at the two ponds at the northern end of the river, the upper and lower pond. They're very deep, and their waters are stratified by temperature and salinity. In the fall, the upper pond has fresh water at the top and warm water at the bottom both of which would want to be on the top. Most years, they're in equilibrium, but some years, they reverse themselves. And Veronica Baranski, who's a coastal ecologist at the URI Graduate School of Oceanography, has been investigating the upper pond for many years to try to understand the circumstances in which those two layers of water uh, become mixed and reverse themselves in the fall. Through the Narrow River Preservation Association and URI Watershed Watch, Veronica has been studying the uh, stratified ponds at the upper end of the Narrow River for many years. And her boat was in the shop. My boat was sitting around and I offered to take her out to do her water samples if I could videotape uh, the uh, day as we went along. And that's what we did for this video. The Rhode Island Natural History Survey presents videos to showcase the animals, plants, geology, and natural systems that surround us, and the people and organizations working to understand and conserve them.
probes. There's four probes in here. It measures um, temperature, salinity, pH, and the two big ones are chlorophyll and dissolved oxygen. Huh. So what's really nice is so with this putting this probe down, you get all those readings like instantaneously. And you can get it at different depths. Where are you going? So I mean you saw how how much time it took me to just take the thermometer reading. Really. Pond, which is one of my favorite, most favorite places in the world. Um, and this is so at our, uh, um, over the deep hole of Upper Pine is the Water Sewer Watch Station or River Watch Station NR2. NR1, just if you hear us, is in Gilbert Seward Stream, which is where a third of the fresh water to the wall of Nair River comes from. That Bubbles coming out.
oxygen in there. Oh, yeah. so these are both oxygens from NR2, the middle of upper pond. Uh, but this is one taken at a half a meter, and there's plenty of oxygen, as you can see by the yellow color. And then this is taken at three meters, and there's hardly any oxygen there, as you can tell by the white color. It's the same spot, but different depths. Natural History Survey videos are made possible through the generous contributions of members and friends. Want to help us do more environmental science and conservation? Hit the like button, share our videos with your circle, subscribe, or make a financial contribution on our website, ranhs.org, or through Patreon. Thanks, and see you out there.